In our previous video you saw how we made the fuselage. And in this particular video we're going to continue with printing and adding the wings. Also in this video I'm going to uh, give some color to the F-35. I really like the colors how it leaves the factory from Italy with the green and grey coloring. And this is also looks like his big composite brother. So I'm looking forward to, to the end of the video how it going to look like. So make sure you watched this entire video. Um, oh man, I'm really excited because the parts are really lightweight compared to his previous model. And we are saving like 500 grams on Lipo's uh, printing settings, which you all can find on rcjetprint.com. And um, hopefully we can also start uh, implementing the hardware as well. All these hardware are listed on the website from RC Jetprint and I will do also a screenshot and a link in the description. In this particular video we're going to use the Bamboo Lab X1. It's starting really to become my favorite 3D printer. And why? The Bamboo Lab is a really fast printer but it got also really fast non-printing movements. Um, if you are printing with foaming filaments um, it always gets some poops out of the nozzle. And if you have fast movements, then yeah, this will be eliminated. So this is why this printer is my favorite printer now. A good alternative for 3D printing is if you don't have this big budget for uh, the uh, Pambulab X1 Carbon, you can also use the Artillery Sidewinder X2. Cheaper printer, but also the cool part about this printer is it got a moving bed, but it still can handle fast non-printing movements. This is really important to get nice infills with all those extra poops inside. So this will save a lot of weight. Okay, let's start building. These are the colors, so I'm going to prepare what we will paint with green. So I need to use some masking and we'll start painting. So I'm using this spray pen. Uh, we found it at the local uh, shop. And these are water based, and this will give a nice coloring to the F35.
Okay guys, um, the green paint things are on and it looks really really stunning. So I'm going to proceed with the rudders, the slats, ailerons and elevators. And also the doors and the nose, so I need to cover up with new masking tape. But look at it, it's starting to really looking cool. Wow. Okay guys, let's talk about hardware. We're going to spend more time on hardware in the next video, implementing servos, ESCs and motors. But let's give me you a sneak preview because already so many downloaded this file. I'm receiving a lot of nice pictures from you. So thank you for that and I will post them soon also on my uh, YouTube videos. So keep printing guys. And uh, the website is rcjetprint.com. Links are in the description. Um, let's talk about the EDF. Uh, I got a lot of questions from you. Um, this model, the Hour F25, is designed to fit the JP 70mm. Um, this EDF can handle 6S and we are using it with a high voltage 6S battery and it should give around uh, 2.5 kilos until 2.8 kilos. They are not so cheap and unfortunately we are not sponsored by JP Europe but we still love these motors and uh, they are great and we're using a lot of these. So maybe uh, at JP Europe, Shane Young, if you are uh, watching, please may consider to sponsor us a little bit so we can build our new X32 model. So enough of this uh, EDF, let's implement it. No cuts or edits. If you are building this model, please don't glue this JP because there are still two holes over. Uh, this one is goes for the steering wheel and this is going to guide the retract servo. So, and this goes to here, so don't glue it yet. Um, just wait when you implement the, the hardware. But as you can see, this motor fits really, really nicely. I really like this. And also the sound is really amazing. Okay, let's continue painting the slats ailerons, elevators and vertical stabilizers. It looks really awesome, isn't it? So leave a comment in, this, in the comment section what you think about this coloring. Yeah, awesome. Okay. These are all the parts that need to be gray. Therefore I'm using color code, yeah, wolf gray. I hope you can see it to the camera. That's wolf gray. Water based. Let's go.